Though the Fed cut interest rates half a percent in September, home mortgage rates continue to rise. The average rate on a 30 year mortgage now sits at 6.54%. It turns out simmering inflation is to blame. Good evening. I'm Catherine Phillips and for Brian Dorman and Catherine Hur. CBS 47's Ben Morris is live in Fresno for more on why and the latest advice from experts. Ben, what can you tell us? Well, Kat, with the Federal Reserve making, you know, large cuts to interest rates just a month ago, the 30 year mortgage continues to rise to the highest point that it's been in nearly three months. Some prospective home buyers may be starting to get nervous with the average 30 year mortgage rate rising to 6.54% up from 6.44% just last week as the highest rates have climbed since they were at 6.73% on August 1st. Rates have been on the rise since they dropped to 6.08% in late September when the Federal Reserve cut interest rates by half a percent. What's gone on since then though is that inflation has not continued to come down as much as people thought and the economy has stayed relatively robust. And so there is a second guessing of whether the Federal Reserve will continue to cut. Brian Owen with the Ford Financial Group says the Federal Reserve expects to cut rates another half percent before the year ends and likely another percent next year. For those looking to buy a home, Ullman says the 0.1% rise isn't caused to sound alarms yet. As things stand now, the upward trend in mortgage rates breaks down this way. For the average $400,000 home in Fresno County, the total has gone up about $26 per month. He says if you want lower rates, you'll have to stick it out and wait. Just don't expect COVID era numbers. If anybody's waiting for rates to go back to where they were before COVID, you're going to be waiting forever. They're not going back there. Rates aside, experts say the most important thing before buying a home or other big purchase is making sure you're in the right financial position to do so. They want to deal with people that are already set up, that are already pre-approved, that already know how much they can spend on a home, and then that way it's an easier process for both sides. And the Federal Reserve is set to make its next rate decision in November before making another decision in December. But for now, reporting live here in Fresno, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.